Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 9th, and right now we are looking at the combination of Doppler radars. You can see the precipitation from the initial stages of Priscilla is just now starting across portions of California. That'll be moving up towards Nevada and Arizona here over the next couple of days. Got the slight risk for excessive rainfall today, but got the rare moderate risk across portions of Arizona for tomorrow. We'll dive into all of those details here as we've got a one-two punch going on as well. We got a trough digging down the coastline. That's going to be reinforced with an even stronger storm as we go on in through next week. And if we take a look at that, you can see the initial stages of this trough here just now starting to bring some clouds towards Northern California. And there is Priscilla churning and the initial stages again of that moisture just now starting to push northbound. Now... If we take a look here, that's the day one. I, I showed you that there in the initial Doppler radar overlay. This is the day two moderate, though. And some pretty strong wordings there. As they mentioned, October 2018, when remnants of Hurricane Rosa moved into the Great Basin and prompted extensive flash flood impacts across central Arizona. So some strong wording. Pay attention to your local forecast of intense rainfall, multiple rounds of it as we go on in through the end of the week and on in through this weekend coming up. This moderate is for Friday morning on in through Saturday morning. Now, if we take a look at Phoenix, Arizona, again, they got flood watches up and some pretty intense rainfall coming. This does include portions of California, El Centro, Desert City, Blythe, Joshua Tree, I believe 29 Palms is included in that as well. And if we take a look here at uh, Flagstaff, and you can see that moderate risk, it does include Phoenix and Flagstaff for tomorrow. And again, today, the initial stages of that heavy rainfall moving over the area. Now, this is Las Vegas, does cover portions of California, Barstow. 29 palms there's baker the better amounts are going to be the further you go off towards portions of arizona but do not sleep on this system here because some portions of the area are likely to get some heavy rainfall it's going to be very hit and miss with this moisture moving up and across the area and also los angeles talking a little bit about this as well marine weather statement if you click on that take a look at that thunderstorm potential capable of producing locally gale force winds rust seas dangerous lightning heavy rainfall reduced visibility and even a water spout so be careful out there eyes on the sky over the next couple of days now this is that troughing moving through here this goes through about Sunday night before the second stronger storm arrives. We have much more impactful weather going on in through the early portion of next week. But you can see there is some rainfall coming with this first storm. It doesn't look like much in the way of measurable precipitation for the Bay Area. But we'll take a look at the models on that here in a moment as well. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station, this is the one to get. I mean, it does all kinds of stuff. UV index, solar power, no moving parts, simple installation, really easy to do. And you can take this off and attach it to a fence post. Very fun stuff. Click on the link down below to save 10%. Now, taking a look at what is going on here. This is the trough here off of the Oregon coastline as we speak. And that's going to pivot down a little bit there. There's some moisture. Priscilla moving back up into the area. And I should mention, we're looking at 18,000 feet, 500 millibars. This gives a real good idea of where the troughs and the ridges are. Troughs, of course, unsettled weather, precipitation, more clouds and ridges. You're dealing with more sinking air, warmer temperatures, and less precipitation. So there's that initial system there. And watch how this gets reinforced. This next upper level oak dives down the coast over the Pacific Northwest. And look at this thing really carve out down across central California. This could bring a much more impactful storm here as we go on and through next week. And the initial stages of that will be coming down as we go through probably very early Monday and on in through the early portion of next week. And this storm system could bring some upper elevation snowfall as well. Now, a look at the tropics again one more time. There's Priscilla and Octave kind of doing the Fujiwara dance there. Priscilla drawing Octave back across it and just kind of totally destroying it. Then maybe another tropical cyclone formation here over the next couple of days, which will be moving towards Arizona as well. So, man, the rounds of tropical moisture just continue. And if we take a look at that, there's Priscilla and its associated moisture. You can kind of see Octave right there. Again, the last stages of the Fujiwara effect. And if you go on into the future a little bit more, you see that uh, troughing there as we go on in through the end of the week and towards this weekend and but look at this moisture in fact i'm going to scroll through here a couple times because look at that moisture moving up and then we get another shot there as we go on in towards the end of the week and through the early portion of next week across portions of arizona so if you're across arizona hopefully you are prepared here for flash flooding conditions across the state now looking at that trough there's the initial one and there's the next one that gets going and again this storm has much more potential to bring some much more significant weather across the state including rainfall across portions of southern california as we go on in through the early portion of next week 
So if we take a look at the timing on this, you can see the precipitation from Priscilla down here, the precipitation across Northern California from our first trough. And this continues as we go on in through this weekend. And then this next system comes rolling down the coastline and look at this one develop right off the Bay Area there and bring precipitation all the way down across Southern California and some pretty heavy mountain snows showing up. Now, if we take a look at total precipitation, I'll scroll through this pretty quickly, but you can see some areas of Imperial County, western portions across the Orange County, getting some decently heavy amounts as well. You can kind of see the hit and miss nature. What a nightmare forecast for meteorologists trying to pick out just who's going to get what and some big amounts across portions of the Arizona California border. Uh, yeah, good luck with this one here. This is tough. Las Vegas could be getting hit as well. And then you can see as we go on in through Saturday, look at this widespread heavy rainfall for a big portion of Arizona. And then another shot of moisture with that secondary tropical system moving up across southern and southeastern portions of Arizona as well. And then we wait for that secondary trough. Then look at that, bringing some pretty decent amounts all the way down the central coast, potentially towards southern California. Lots of stuff going on here as we go on in through next week. And if we take Take a look at the high resolution models this is this morning's on the left versus the 060 and you can see these streaks of some heavier precipitation again the model is just all over the place back and forth on who's going to get what so don't pay attention to the individual locations of some of this precipitation. It has backed off a little bit on just how much is coming across extreme southern portions of California towards the Mexico border, though. But do not let your guard down. Now, we take a look at this next system. You know, you hear a chatter about atmospheric rivers and stuff like that. And there's a, a, a category a rating system here. Once you get above 250, if you continue that for about 24 hours, this area over it, uh, the integrated vapor transport or for over any given area that is what classifies these as atmospheric rivers so as we go off into the second storm you can see a pretty good plume of moisture there but does it hang out for 24 hours well you're looking at 06c on tuesday but by the time you get to 06c on wednesday this is a very fairly progressive system though it still can bring some flooding concerns with it it's not something you would classify as a big time atmospheric river as it is pretty progressive if you were to hang that area out and bring bigger amounts you know and keep that integrated vapor transport moving over a given area of course you'd be talking about the atmospheric river a little bit more so hopefully um, a little bit of a look into what an atmospheric river is I'll just leave it at that. But taking a look here at total snow, Kuchera ratio in inches. So we're going to scroll through here. The initial trough, just as you can see, Mount Shasta, maybe some of the very higher peaks, a little bit of precipitation in the form of snow for the very highest peaks of the Sierra Nevada. But watch what happens as a secondary system pinwheels down the coastline. Now we're headed off in towards Monday. And look at these snowfall totals really ramp up across the Sierra Nevada. A little bit of a uh, early season treat here across the higher terrain. If we take a look at positive snow depth change in inches, uh, pretty good amounts. I mean, some areas getting up over a foot, a foot of snow will be on the ground with this system. And there is some coming for northern portions of California as well. So pretty intense system still on tap here as we go through the early portion of next week. Now, looking at the artificial intelligence on the left versus the GFS, you can see the first trough here, pretty good agreement on the placement of that. And you see that tropical moisture moving over portions of California, Nevada, and Arizona. Then we look at that secondary storm and look at some of these amounts, just kind of pretty striking here for the first half of uh, October. And look at that, some big time amounts coming up and down the coastline there. So we'll be watching that storm. As you can see, the models are in pretty decent agreement with it. But again, any shimmy in the track there is going to make big differences and big changes on who gets what and how much rainfall falls. Now, uh, the European ensemble mean, again, I'll scroll through this pretty quick to kind of beat beating this to death here but you can see it does bring precipitation all the way through southern california now six to ten day below normal makes sense with what we just saw and that above normal signal continues on it through october 14th or so and check out the patreon page is probably the best way if you want to throw some of your hard-earned money towards the california weather watch channel the last allows the creator to keep about 88 to 90 percent of what you donate so very good so anyway hope you guys are having a good day otherwise we'll do this all again tomorrow i Eyes on the sky next few days. Keep your wits about you. And I will talk to you guys then.